How can a janitor amass a fortune of $8 million? Ronald Reed was an American janitor, gas station attendant, investor, and philanthropist that amassed $8 million investing in the stock market. In this video, we will check how he was able to achieve that and how you can become a successful investor just like him. Hi, welcome to The Holder Investor. If you want to learn more about investing, please consider subscribing to this channel. Reed grew up in Dummerston, Vermont in a farming household. He came from humble beginnings. He was the first in his family to graduate from high school and served in North Africa, Italy, and the Pacific Theater during World War II. After the war, he came home and started to work as an attendant at a gas station where he met a client named Barbara March who became his wife. Ronald Reed lived below his means. He drove an old, inexpensive car and kept his old coat together with safety pins. He didn't dine out frequently, except for inexpensive breakfasts at his local hospital's cafe. His recreation wasn't costly either. Instead of paying for time on golf courses or travel, Mr. Reed enjoyed chopping wood. So, Reed started to invest in the stock market with the money he saved. He liked to invest in blue chip and dividend paying stocks such as Procter & Gamble, JP Morgan, General Electric, and Dow Chemical. He was a good stock picker and he had the control to buy and hold stocks for the long run, a strategy billionaire investor Warren Buffett recommends. In 1970, after 10 years of marriage, his wife died of cancer. Reed retired in 1979, which lasted only one year. He then worked part-time at J.C. Penney where he was a janitor before retiring in 1997 after working there for 17 years. Ronald Reed died in 2014 at 92 years old. His family was very surprised when they discovered that he had an $8 million fortune. They had no idea that he was a multimillionaire. By his style of life, no one would guess that he was a multimillionaire and he didn't tell anyone. He left $6 million of his fortune to his local library and hospital and $2 million to his stepchildren, caregivers, and friends. Five key points were responsible for his successes. These points are crucial to being a successful investor, so pay close attention. The first one is that Ronald Reed was patient. Reed's wealth grew over many decades via the power of compounding. Albert Einstein described compound interest as the most powerful force in the universe. Ronald Reed's strategy was to buy and hold stocks for the long run. This strategy is also used by some great investors like Warren Buffett, Charlie Munger, and Peter Lynch. Warren Buffett once said, Our favorite holding period is forever. The more you hold your investments, the more you compound return. For example, $10,000 invested at a 10% return over 10 years would return about $27,000. After 30 years would return almost $200,000 and after 50 years more than $1,450,000. I think this is fascinating. A unique $10,000 investment returned more than $1,450,000. This shows us how powerful the power of compound is. That is why being patient is crucial to being a successful investor. What he did to increase even more the power of the compound return was to reinvest the dividends that he received. This chart shows the difference between reinvesting and not reinvesting dividends. We can see that reinvesting dividends leads to a way better performance as it increases the compound return over time. Reinvesting dividends will lead to a snowball, so when you are building your wealth, reinvesting your dividends is a good strategy. How about you? Do you reinvest your dividends? Let me know in the comment section. The second point is that he lived below his means. Reed maintained a frugal lifestyle, never spending money unless he had to. Friends remember him driving a second-hand Toyota Yaris, using safety pins to hold his coat together, and cutting his own firewood well into his 90s. This lifestyle allowed him to invest a good part of his income as a gas station attendant and as a janitor. His friend and neighbor Mark Richards said, I'm sure if he earned $50 in a week, he probably invested $40 of it. Without this lifestyle, he would not be able to invest and amass that $8 million fortune. Of course, you can spend your money on things that you like, but you have to control your spending so that you can save a part of your income to invest. The third point is that he invested in the stock market. The stock market is one of the most powerful ways to build wealth. Check out the long-term growth rate for stocks versus some common alternatives. This image is from the book Stocks for the Long Run by Jeremy Siegel. 
we can see that $1 invested in the stock market from 1802 to 2012 would return more than $700,000 compared with $1,700 if you invested in bonds. Historically, in the long run, the stock market protected against inflation and delivered a good return. So, investing in stocks made Ronald Reed a multimillionaire. The fourth point is diversification. Ronald Reed had Lehman Brothers stocks, the bank that filed for bankruptcy in 2008 during the financial crisis. But this didn't have a huge impact on his portfolio as he was well diversified. He held about 95 stocks when he died. When you are a stock picker, it is very important to be diversified as it will help you to avoid mistakes like the Lehman Brothers in the case of Ronald Reed. Owning only a few stocks can be very risky as if some unexpected thing happens, you may lose a huge part of your wealth. We live in a highly unpredictable world, so diversification is crucial to succeeding in the long run. The fifth point is that he liked to learn. Ronald Reed didn't have a finance degree, nor an MBA. So, where did he learn how to build wealth? By reading the Wall Street Journal, Barron's, and other financial publications at his local library. He used to read a lot. He regularly visited the library to return a pile of books and check out another pile. This habit of learning was very helpful for him to become a successful investor. According to Buffett, your mind is the most important asset you can own and one that should be regularly maintained but also challenged and broadened. To him, the pursuit of knowledge is certainly the path to both power and success. Warren Buffett said, One can best prepare themselves for the economic future by investing in your own education. If you study hard and learn at a young age, you will be in the best circumstances to secure your future. These days, financial education is even easier to access. Everything you need to know is available for free through YouTube, personal finance blogs, and articles that you can find online. Now more than ever, the only thing you need to become financially educated is the will to learn. We can learn from Ronald Reed's history that you don't need to earn a massive paycheck to become a millionaire. He lived below his means to save money to invest in the stock market, and he was patient to wait for the magic of the compound return. Anyone, including you watching this video, can do that. I'm sure that if you follow Ronald Reed's steps, you can become a multi-millionaire just like him, and maybe you can even have a way better return. You can either be a stock picker like Ronald Reed, or invest through an index fund. In both ways, you can have a good return. In the Little Book of Common Sense Investing, John Bogle shows us that anyone can be successful in the stock market. You can check out the top 5 lessons from this book in the card on the screen or in the link in the description. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to receive more videos about investing. Bye!